This is not a full video, but a quick addendum to the one I made last week when Kit Harrington was doing a new round of interviews and very prominently said that they are not moving forward on any Jon Snow spin-off at HBO and admitting it was actually a very nascent idea that we thought all well, they hired writers they were doing something he admitted they didn't have an idea they were looking for ideas couldn't decide on a good one and then shelved it indefinitely that there is no secret plot that you could actually go in and find somewhere they were batting ideas around it and didn't settle on anything so that's why I'm keeping this under two minutes go and watch my full video linked at the end what is something I wish he had said by the time of that interview. He said he gave another interview a week later in a podcast for The Discourse. This was reported on by winteriscoming.net, so I'll just link to their article below. That when he gave a different podcast with The Discourse, the way he phrased it was, when HBO came to me and said, could you explore ideas for a Jon Snow spinoff? So we were always sold on Kit Harrington had a really good idea for this. Then it turned into Kit had a motivation to do this, but didn't really know what he wanted to do, hired some writers, batted ideas around. James Hibbard leaked it out, even though Kit and Martin really did not want people talking. About it. He said, I talked about in the full video, he said, we didn't want it leaked out because it wasn't an idea. It's just something we were debating. That we didn't want to hype it up as much as they did that we knew we were trying to avoid very specifically this type of thing. But at least, oh, there was a motivation to do it. Now it turns out HBO, the new HBO, though, under Warner Discovery, they approached me, said, hey, would, would you be open? And I said, it's just like when they talk about this in interviews of the actors, go, hey, would you ever be open to coming back? Yeah, I think I would. Well, could you think of some ideas? Maybe we'll actually do it. Yeah, I guess so. I'm not sure if we can really criticize HBO for this. I mean, we don't know the full story, but it sounds like they did this the right way, which is approach the actor, ask them, can you come up with good ideas? And if you can't, we won't move forward on it, which is what happened. Now, for all we know, they were strong. I, mean, I know there's a whole thing in the Matrix 4 where they go, Warner Brothers, our beloved parent company, will make a sequel whether we like to or not, but they'd rather have us at least steering it in the right direction. It doesn't, it, it could be that, you never know, but it doesn't sound like that, because if it was, if they were strong-arming them, we'd still be getting a Jon Snow spinoff, regardless of how good it is. But what we know is they apparently asked Kit Harrington to come up with ideas, he couldn't, so they're not going to do anything. So, I mean, debate that in, in the comments below, like, when it comes to, like, Star Wars spinoffs or other things, sometimes they force people to do stuff, and... If, if they were going to force him, we would be getting something, and we're not. So I'm sorry I split this off as an addendum. It came out in a later interview, a week after the first set of interviews. If I could splice this into the other video, I would. But it, it, it's just one more further emphasis that the old dying lash of the hype media for Game of Thrones later seasons 7 through 8, like James Hibber trying to build up something that was nothing. If there'll be a season 9, that no, season 8 will be amazing. It'll do all these things that we have no evidence they're actually doing. There's only six episodes. How much could you really fit in? This is truncated to have eight seasons, needs ten seasons, just all of that other stuff. The blind celebrity culture around it. This was their last attempt at that. And frankly, you've seen that while the hype around the Jon Snow thing was annoying, it wasn't this big groundswell either. It was mixed at best. I mean, I, half half of people, you know, I, I told you, like, people were supportive of Kit Harrington when we found out he wanted to do it, or was on board with it. But this is not the name draw they thought it was. And, of course, the clickbaiters are barraging us with Jon Snow thing, but... Two years on into the House of the Dragon era, I hope they're starting to realize even the the clickbaiters running bot channels, well, you know who they are, are starting to realize this is diminishing returns. Or at least they would. And the other problem is some of these things that you've seen the bot channels where it's just in the past year, channels made by chat GPT reading Google searches with high quality voice synthesizers so it sounds like a person even though it's not that all they're doing is reading off Reddit speculation. But if even Twitter, Reddit, and YouTube channels aren't discussing a Jon Snow spinoff that much anymore, would even the bots eventually stop? 
I don't know. So keeping this at five minutes, it was just an addendum to just even Kit, the way he phrased it was, oh, HBO came to me. When, when George R. R. Martin blogged about this two years ago, he said Kit came to him. So maybe they went to Kit, who then went to George, I don't know. But thankfully, we will stop talking about this.